Hey everyone, this is Self Made Millennial. I'm Madeline Mann. In this video, you'll learn actionable strategies to avoid rambling on for too long in a job interview. I give example questions and answers that will not only show you how to be concise, but also answer in exactly the way they wanted. Not to scare you, but rambling is easily one of the top reasons why interviewers reject a candidate. Yeah, but you will no longer ramble after this video. Have you ever heard the quote, I would have written you a shorter letter, but I didn't have the time. That's the idea. Concise is king, baby. When you talk for a long time, you come across as an ineffective communicator. And since interviews are time boxed, interviewers don't get to ask their full list of questions, so you won't be able to shine in all the areas necessary. Um, This is a big deal, y'all, and I think something that many of us struggle with. I know I do. Let's start with part one. How long should you take to respond to an interview question? You can usually respond to an interview question in 60 seconds or less. Yep, that quick. You can always go into more detail if they ask follow-up questions. There will be some questions where you just feel like you can't get the entire answer in 60 seconds, and if that's the case, give in to your bad self and stretch it to a whole big 90 seconds. The only way to truly master this is by preparing answers to as many questions as you can ahead of time, and then recording yourself answering them. As someone who videotapes herself, all the time. Uh, yes, at first it does feel a bit awkward, but over time it also continues to be awkward. But this will be revealing to see how concise or long-winded you are. I recommend watching the video I have on how to answer the typical starting interview question, tell me about yourself. Because I show how to elegantly answer this question in 60 seconds. For many people, this question is the kiss of death because they tell their whole life saga and spend 15 minutes on this one question and then there's barely any time to talk about the other things in the interview. So watch that video, I'll link it in the description to get a good sense of step by step how to be succinct and persuasive. Part two, asking questions before you answer. I don't know about you, but when I'm bumbling through an interview question, it's usually because I'm not sure what kind of answer they're even looking for. I just keep talking until I see some sort of nodding coming from their direction. Instead, before you answer, ask a clarifying question. For example, let's say they ask, what do you think of the project management process at your current company? Oh, this is ripe for you you to ramble on forever. So ask a clarifying question. Absolutely, I could evaluate the actual software we use to track things, or how well people were held accountable, or the communication across departments. Any of those areas you want me to particularly focus on, they have a reason for asking that you don't know. So that question will help them to be more specific about what they want you to talk about. Here's another example. Let's say they ask, what is your familiarity with applicant tracking systems? You can answer, I use one every day at my job. I'm very comfortable with them. Any particular experience you were looking for with an ATS? The question they asked you may have been a check the box question where they just wanted to clarify that you've used an ATS before. Or maybe they want to hear deeply about certain experiences, but don't assume it's the latter. Answer briefly and then ask clarifying questions. And finally, they may ask, what did you do at your last role? Wow, this question is so painfully vague and open-ended. So what you can do is give them an overview and then ask a clarifying question. At a high level, I did A, B, C, and D. Would you like me to go into detail about any of those four domains? I've seen candidates eliminated from the process because they were too verbose, they were too enthusiastic. I was screening a candidate who spent nearly all of the call talking about how she learned about blockchain and the industry and feels so excited and fascinated to be on the phone with me and how she would love to join. And it was difficult to get her off of that topic and we ended up running out of time. But I put her through the next round because I really liked her enthusiasm. Next interview, 
Dagnabbit, she completely bombs it. Why? Because she did the exact same thing again. She kept talking about her passion, but the interviewer wasn't able to efficiently move through the other questions. The candidate was deemed too scatterbrained and an ineffective communicator. Yowza. Next, watch how to answer the question, tell me about yourself. I will link it in the description. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Wi-Fi high five.